Hi guys, welcome back to Musician of a Lifetime, where music is all that matters. I'm Clara to Samuel King, and in this specific video, if you haven't read the title below, this is going to be a video about um, what every single clarinetist needs in your clarinet case. But before we get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss one of my videos. Let's get into it. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you obviously need in your reed case is, I meant clarinet case, is reeds. Now, it doesn't matter if it's plastic reeds, I have a Legier 3 reed, or it could just be normal cane reeds. I go on Van Dorn V21s. I will list everything that I mentioned in this video in the description below. So, you need reeds. If you do not have reeds, you cannot play the clarinet. The reeds are one of the main and most essential things in your clarinet case. Next, you need cork grease. Now this is extremely important because your corks can dry out and they can tear. Now, if it tears, it will not look good. It will look like a nightmare. So you need cork grease. They either have them in like a chapstick that you can just twist it and just apply or they have it in um, these um, containers that you can get on Amazon. They're, they're different companies like Rico and Van Doren. Um, but yeah, you need cork grease. Next, this is optional. Um, this is a fingering chart I got for Christmas. It's a very good fingering chart. It's um, 303 clarinet fingerings and 276 trills. And it is a very good book. I've looked over it already and I've found at least 20 fingerings already that have helped me with um, pieces of music. Now this is um, important because if you forget a fingering in the concert and you you don't want to mess up in that spot so you, you can just get it out of your case and just scroll through it and find um, some fingerings like let's say you forgot a fingering to um, C sharp or slash um, D flat you can see on this um, either the trill fingering or you can just look up the fingering for that single note. The next thing um, this is also optional it's not a need but this is a reed clipper and this is so you can clip your reeds if the reed is the tip of the reed is chipped or it is um, too soft or too hard you can just clip and it's a reed. Now this is important you need a screwdriver now the reason um, you need a screwdriver is because if one of the uh, screws in your um, clarinet gets loose you have to screw it back in or else that will be a big problem and you do not want a loose screw in your clarinet because if that screw comes out in a concert that key will fall off or either not play correctly or the note will not come out correctly. Now this is also a very essential um, item in your clarinet case that you need. A swab. The, I currently have a Beaumont swab. Uh, it's made out of recycling stuff and it's got bamboo and charcoal in it and it's very awesome but I'm gonna say that these um, can have an odor very fast so you need to wash these um, a couple few times maybe once a month or so but because they will stink if you do not wash them good oh yeah and if you don't know these are for swabbing out the clarinet with your swab so if you have condensation slash spit in your clarinet you can swab it out so let me show you Ligature off. What I do is I put it through the bell here and it comes out this end here and you just pull it. There's a weight on it so it'll come out and voila. And then I take these pieces off and just wipe them if they have spit. So that is the swamp. The next thing you need is a pencil. And this is extremely important if, um, so let's say for example, I was in concert band and I had pens, but pens don't usually work because if you mess up, you can't erase it. So I recommend a pencil. And if the conductor or somebody tells you to write down something, you don't want to be the one that is 
sitting there awkwardly looking at people writing and you're the only one that's not. <laughs> so make sure you have a pencil so you can write down notes, write down any reminders on sheet music. This is sort of important. This is plumber's tape. Um, this is very, very essential to me because my corks are very old. They tend to rip very easily. I've already had like three corks replaced. Um, so this is very, and you can just wrap it around the cork and it'll be like new, but it will not be the cork. Um, but it will still act like a cork and the um, plumber's tape will absorb the sound just like the cork. Two more things to go. You need a tuner. This is very important, either an app on your phone, I use Tunable, um, or on my phone, or you can use a actual physical tuner, or I don't know the word, um, but you need a tuner. Now mine is a Metro Pitch tuner, it's got a tuner, and it's got a metronome, and it's got the note tones all in one, so make sure you have this so you can tune before concert and get in the right pitch. Last but not least, you need a neck strap. If you are playing in like a four hour concert or two hours and you and your thumb gets very sore easily and your joints are getting sore, you have to have this because if your joints are sore, they tend to not, your fingers tend to not move right and they can cause squeaks and this neck strap here will um, carry some of the pressure from the clarinet so you won't have that tension to kind of mess up and um, get those squeaks. So that was all for this video. Remember to make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you won't miss one of my videos. The next video is going to be either performance or a lesson. I will put it in the description below for the announcements. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!